This is Manos, one of the co-founders of WeatherXM. In WeatherXM, we are building a community-powered weather station Oracle network. As a team, we have been delivering industrial IoT solutions to weather-sensitive companies for more than five years now. Our customers include the National Energy Transmission Operator in Greece, uh, multiple energy utilities, Athens Airport, Halifax Port in Canada, motorways, telecommunication providers, and various industrial companies that you can see in our portfolio. In most of our solutions, we needed accurate weather data, uh, actual conditions, to use, for example, in our machine learning models. And most of the times, we faced the same problem. We couldn't find hyperlocal accurate weather data for our customers' area. Actual weather conditions come from weather stations, and there's not enough weather stations out there. Uh, that's why there's not enough data. Weather station networks require substantial infrastructure investment, and traditionally, they are operated uh, and rolled out by governments. So the hardware is old school, complex, difficult to deploy and maintain, limited by a number of factors such as energy and uh, network cellular coverage and so on. So two years ago, we decided to attack this problem directly by building a better weather station that is specifically designed for large-scale deployments. We joined the Hacks Accelerator, went to China Shenzhen, and started working on our own hardware. Today, we have created a family of low-cost, easy-to-deploy autonomous weather stations, but most importantly, we have, we have created the world's first blockchain-ready weather hardware. Our stations store data directly to IPFS, and act as a weather oracle via the Chainlink and API3 protocols. So we really directly connect weather-related smart contracts to the physical world. Depending on the use case and deployment requirements, we have different versions of our hardware. We have versions that use off-the-shelf equipment that is running our own Web3-enabled firmware, but we also have hardware that is really unique and, and superior to what's out there that is of our own design. With all this hardware at the core, we're building a global Web3 weather network in three phases. In phase one, we're focused on the supply side. People who buy and deploy our weather stations are rewarded with a new ERC20 utility token every day as they share their weather data. They also get a hyper-accurate forecast that is optimized using their own data. With this approach, we generate new weather data directly into Web3 infrastructure instead of recycling the same data that everybody is using today. We follow the tokenomics of Helium, a proven approach to build global hardware communities at crazy speed. Once we have streamlined the tokenomics, we are entering the agriculture market. Obviously, multiple industries can benefit from a global weather network, but we are starting with farmers because these are the people who will benefit the most. Farmers use weather data on a daily basis for their operations, such as irrigation, fertilization, spraying, all this depends on weather conditions. So they can dramatically optimize their daily operations and increase their yield if they have a more accurate custom-built forecast for their own crop, as well as historical data. In addition, because our solution is based on a powerful IoT platform, we can provide the IoT marketplace conditions for B2B collaborations. For example, we can uh, provide our hardware to an agri-tech company and very easily integrate with their vertical solution and enhance their solution with our advanced weather analytics. Using our tokenomics, we also minimize the hardware investment from the farmer side, which was one of the biggest barriers for smallholder farmers to enter precision agriculture. They will be essentially get paid for sharing their weather data. However, our long-term vision is to create a Web3 global weather oracle network that doubles as a precision agriculture solution and unlocks parametric weather crop insurance on chain. The markets of phase one and two are okay, but the weather crop industry is, is very big and full of hidden opportunities. Uh, billions are lost due to weather events every year in agriculture specifically. 50% of global food production comes from smallholder farmers, yet these farmers have no access to crop insurance. We believe insurance companies will move towards blockchain technologies to address some of the challenges that they have in order to expand their market. And blockchain is indeed the most effective way to increase farmers' resilience to weather and climate change. 
but to materialize this vision, they will need hyperlocal weather data that they can trust. The infrastructure for such data does not exist today. Current networks are operated by nonprofits, governments, and academic institutions with a highly varying degree of coverage and data quality, and anyone can tamper the data at various uh, points in the data flow. That's why we're building the Web3 weather infrastructure of the future. We already have traction in the B2B space. We've signed MOUs with the most active blockchain companies in the Oracle and insurance space. And we're exploring pilots with insurance service providers in Africa. And we have also partnered with TAHMO, the largest trans-African network of weather stations. We have also gained funding and support from the most active VCs in the blockchain and IoT hardware space. We're still early in this weather oracle market, but there is some competition already. Web2 companies have announced similar services to ours with the intention to move to Web3 space. And existing Web3 companies in the space could potentially evolve to provide similar services to ours. However, we are the only company that dares at this point to combine IoT hardware with Web3. We have different revenue streams per phase. In phase one, we get revenue from hardware sales and use this to kickstart our tokenomics. In phase two, we deliver weather advisory services to agriculture, Web2, Web3 companies and farmers. And in phase three, we explore B2B collaborations around crop insurance and, and charge Oracle service fees in addition. We have a detailed roadmap moving from one market to another for specific reasons. We're starting with crypto enthusiasts to get the tokenomics rolling, then moving to weather enthusiasts to get feedback for our weather services. And then we enter agriculture, uh, dealing directly with farmers and later with ag tech and crop insurance companies. Founders and most of the team has been together for more than five years in the weather industry, proven that we can deliver demanding industrial B2B solutions with weather analytics. We are all senior engineers and experts in IoT, machine learning, hardware, and software development. And we recently made the switch to Web3 technologies, so we have what it takes to execute this very ambitious plan. Now, let me uh, walk you through our user journey in order for you to understand better what we're building. A crypto enthusiast finds our website, realizes that they can earn some tokens by deploying a weather station, goes to our eShop, buys the urban version of our station, deploys the sensors outside, they are completely autonomous, they transmit uh, weather information wirelessly to our gateway, which is also acting as the weather data miner, and this device connects to the house Wi-Fi. So, so the user starts earning tokens as well as a better weather forecast, specific to his location. Now the farmer gets additional features as a professional user or prosumer. He gets a different version of the hardware that is autonomous designed for rural deployments. Uh, so he, can, he deploys the entire unit uh, on the field and gets a professional version of our mobile app in addition to dashboards specific to his requirements. Our dashboards are very easy to make. We can give access to the users so they can modify and build new dashboards. And in fact, because all these years we have been using an IoT platform in the core of our backend systems, it's very easy to uh, deliver rapid IoT solutions to third parties. So this is a multi-tenant environment. We can give admin access to our uh, Agritech customers and they have all the functionality they need to integrate their platform or migrate completely to our own uh, environment. We have API monitoring mechanism to charge them. And among many features, we have uh, a unique rule engine that bridges the IoT world with Web3 and crypto wallet transactions. So the vision of a parametric weather crop insurance combined with precision agriculture can start to get shape in, in our infrastructure. We have also created a proof of concept contract with our hardware, chaining, and Ethereum, but that's part of phase three. A lot of what we've built is open source. You can find it in GitHub. And the parametric weather crop insurance uh, demo is also online. Thank you.